Hello everyone, we're going to show you today how to connect your Siva printer for the printer installation on your computer. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice is that uh, your printer has a power connection on the back right there, so we're going to use the power cord, we call it the Mickey Mouse power cord. We're going to plug it in and go all the way in until there is no more space. Go all the way in. Then we're going to connect the other end to the power strip, like so. Alright, then you're going to connect to your USB cable to your computer and you're going to leave the one that looks like this, it goes connected on the back of the printer, like so. After that, you're going to open your printer with these two clips right there you're gonna install your thermal label like so this type of uh, printer has the adjustable arms you're gonna install it like this and then close the printer all right we also have a second version of printers that is very similar to these but instead of having adjustable arms it has no arms so the installation is very similar but it's a little easier you just drop the roll in there then close your printer it's ready to go so we're gonna go back to the previous printer Okay, now that everything is connected, then you can turn the printer on. There is a switch behind it. By the power connection, you're gonna flip that up. Now the printer it's turned on, and you're gonna notice a red button. You're gonna wait a few seconds for it to become green it's gonna make some noises it's gonna do the self calibration and this is normal this is gonna happen every time you turn the printer on okay your printer is ready to go you should click on now you can go into your computer and install the driver and we're gonna have another video for that thank you Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to install your printer on your computer. So the first thing you're going to do is just get the printer out of the box and you're going to get your USB cord. Hello everyone, today we're going to show you how to get the printer ready before the computer driver installation. So the first thing you're going to do of course is get the printer out of the box find your USB cord, your power cord, and your labels. So the next thing you have to do is look for your power cord and if you notice you're gonna find this end, we call it the Mickey Mouse cable. We're gonna go and connect it into the back of the printer, make sure it all goes all the way in. Then we're gonna connect our USB connection, like so. After that we're gonna connect the power cord into your power strip or AC wall. When the printer is ready, you can go ahead and install the labels. We have two versions of uh, this printer, the CP450. One that you just drop the roll, just pull this off first, drop the roll, put it on top of the label of the, of the roller, and close the printer. We have another version of printers, it's called the CP450 with adjustable arms. Nearly identical, but it has these adjustable arms for smaller labels. So, this is how you load it in. Put it under the guides, get about two inches or one inch out of the printer, 
close the printer and of course we need to connect it into the power and into the USB after that there is a power switch behind the printer flip that up now your printer is almost ready to go if you notice you're gonna get a red button that is normal it takes a few seconds for the printer to do self test and self calibration after that the printer is gonna make some noises feed a few labels and then the printer is gonna be ready for you so every time you turn your printer on and off this is what's gonna happen and that's normal okay now the printer is ready to go you can push the feed button now it's ready to go so now you can go ahead go into your computer and install the driver and we have another video for that thank you